Hello everyone, this is the LEGO Sith TIE Fighter. This has 470 pieces, 3 minifigures, and retail in the US for $80 and is for ages 9 and up. Now first off, let's get to the figures. Our first figure up here is the First Order TIE Pilot. This figure is, I think, my favorite figure in the set. It looks really, really good. It comes with a pistol which is not a stud shooter, which is excellent. I love not getting stud shooters. He's really, uh, really nice torso, hip, and leg print, and it all flows extremely, extremely well, and it's really flush. It's not off printed or anything. The helmet here is really good looking as well. You can kind of see here, there's a wire going down. That is an awesome, awesome mold. I love that. He's some solid back printing there as well, and under his head, is a angry clone face. Now my problem with it being an angry clone face is I really, really, really wish, let me put the helmet back on here, it was a black face so you can't see the tan underneath there. But besides that, that is my only problem with this figure. It is excellent. The next figure up here is a Knight of Ren. Now you can get several of these different Knights of Ren's in other Rise of Skywalker sets. I think this one only comes in this set, so it's an exclusive figure to the set, and that is awesome. It has really nice uh, face printing, torso printing, hip printing, and leg printing. And same as the other figure, it's all very, very flush and flows extremely nicely. He also has a really cool blade. I really like the uh, blade on him. Uh, he's some cool back printing there as well, and he has no alternate face or printing on the back of his face. And his face does just look incredible. And a uh, really cool kind of hood, cloak piece on his head. Uh, I think an overall excellent figure, especially an exclusive figure in such an expensive uh, set. The next figure up here is Finn. And I think this figure looks really, really good. He is same as the other guys, torso, hip, and leg printing. This flows pretty well, however, the torso doesn't flow with the belt. No problem with that. I don't think it's really intended to. Um, he has a gunmetal gray blaster, not a stud shooter, and it looks really good in that gunmetal gray instead of the black. He has a new uh, hair piece. He normally has the more flat. This is more spiky, and I really like that. He's a little kind of man purse uh, there. And all right, back printing as well. And he has an alternate face. A more happy and less um, scared uh, face there. Now on to the actual ship here. It looks incredible. It has extremely, extremely nice detail. I kind of wish this was a uh, red spring-loaded shooter, but your typical spring-loaded shooter. Let me just shoot my shelf, uh, self, not shelf. Um, you know, we all know how those work. Um, it has a really nice stand. I like the stand that it comes with. That's really, really nice. It's actually quite massive. I think people are calling this set overpriced. And I agree that it is overpriced, but I'll get to that later. But for what you get, for the size and the big piece that you get, I think it's I think it's uh, not the worst price in the world, like people are saying. Um, but it looks, it, it just looks awesome. And uh, to open the cockpit, you pull this thing up. Pull this thing down, and you actually flip this part up. You can place a minifigure in there. I have to hold my phone with one hand because of how big this set is. So I can't uh, put the figure in uh, with it uh, while I'm recording. So I'll do that right now. And there the pilot is in his cockpit, and it's simple as just putting this down, folding this back up. Now my one problem with this set here is I switched it around. It says this black part is supposed to be like twisted. I'm not going to twist it all the way around. It's supposed to be twisted all the way to the front. It's actually backwards. It should be on the back here. Another problem I have is, no, this is a really nice printed piece, by the way. But another problem I have here is when you do open this up, this part comes down with it. You got to put this up manually. Let me show you. If I open the cockpit here, let me give you a better view. If I open the cockpit here and pull this up, that comes down with it. And when I want to close the cockpit, it stays down, it doesn't come back up. I wish 
it was like attached or something. It's not all that big of a deal, but sometimes you might leave it down. Um, so that's, that's good for you to know. Um, I think all in all, it is a pretty uh, good set. Very, very nice detail here. I love how the spring loader cheaters here are actually hidden. You see this? It's actually hidden all back here behind this grill piece. And you press this down. I didn't show up the other one yet, so I'll show you here. See how it's kind of up? So you push it down, and it shoots out. And that's uh, that's really nice. I like, I like how it's hidden. I like when they're hidden like that. I just wish they were red to fit with the color scheme here. Otherwise, I think it is a pretty, pretty solid set. Now getting on to my overall thoughts about the set. Um, I think it is a really, really nice model. I think the figures you get are excellent. But now let's talk about the price here. For 470 pieces, you're paying 80 bucks for those 470 pieces. And that is a horrible price to part ratio. Um, however, I think it is decently big. I think it should be narrowed down to 70 or 60, maybe $70, especially when you're paying 80 bucks for only three figures, the one being in the cockpit here. I think that is um, a little disappointing. However, uh, that Nine of Ren is exclusive to this set, so that is, that is nice, and you do get many uh, big pieces here. So I, I, I think it should have been more around the range of 60, Five, uh, 60 65 dollars maybe maybe 70 i think it's cutting a little bit too much there but 80 i think is overpriced um however it does come with a nice stand and it looks the color scheme here is immaculate like you can't tell me that this beast doesn't look great i think this set looks really really good it's just again the price it's a little wonky so if i had to rate this set out of 10 I'd say six and a half, seven. Um, and that will be it, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Comment. Uh, tell me what your favorite part about the set is, what you hate about it. Let me know. Feel free to uh, give your opinion in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.